Hi, Janice Winward here with Midnight Arts. Uh, tonight I'm going to try to do an, a peacock uh, chain pull. Um, I don't know if I if I should even try it because my last chain pull was <laughs> such a disaster. But uh, I had the canvases prepped for for another peacock chain pull, so uh, so I'm going to give it a try. Uh, I have the background covered in. I will be using Deco Art Extreme Sheen Metallic Sapphire with some ultramarine blue in it. Um, Master's Touch Emerald Green. Master's Touch Gold. Uh, Master's Touch Violet. I don't know if I'll use that violet or not. I don't know. Um, Artist Loft Brilliant Blue. Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. And uh, this is probably the purple I'll use is Deco Art Extreme Sheen Amethyst. Oh, I decided the last time I did the peacock pour, I wasn't going to do a, a thing up in the corner. <laughs> but, oh well, I forgot. I have no idea why I did that. <laughs> Let's see how that turns out. <laughs> okay. And that right there is why I decided not to put one up in the corner again. It just doesn't seem to pull right out of the corner. my chain and maybe pull that again. Globbed right in the is dangerous. <laughs> I've got such a I don't know if you can see that in either. I've got such a big glob of paint on my stomach right now. <laughs> it's from this thing here. <laughs> Guess I must put too much paint up in the corner there. Huh, that just really doesn't want to blend in. It just wants to stay bright colors without the chain pull going through it. Well, now it's not at all even with the other side. Okay, I think that's all for now. I don't think I'll mess with it anymore. stomach. <laughs> I have canvases prepped for one more. Um, Northern Lights and then a great big one for a red rose pull. So those will be the next two I do in the next two videos. Then after that I gotta start 
prepping all of these to get them to the show. I gotta, you know, get everything varnished and the backs finished and everything. So let me just lift this up. I should lift this one up. I don't want it to drip on the other one. Oh, I dripped that one on this one though. Let's see. I'll have to do a little manipulating to get those drips off of there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please join me again soon. Please subscribe, like, and share. And most importantly, please have a great night. Okay, here's this one dry. This is the peacock one. I think that the Payne's gray is just a little bit too dark for this or maybe the uh, colors are blending in with it a little bit too much. Um, I mean, there's still some very pretty colors in there and of course the prettiest colors are right here and that's where I would be putting a peacock head <laughs> it's right there. So anyway See, there's that one dry. Oh, and I believe there were some tile. So this is a six inch tile and this is a four inch tile. It just turned out so black. I just think that Payne's gray is just so dark. Okay, thank you so much for watching and please have a great night.